Hey, this is Aaron. And Blake, we're AB Data. Thanks for watching our Ultra Tool demonstration videos. In this video, we're taking a look at the Dynamic Rename tool. The Dynamic Rename tool can be found in the Developer care, uh, category. You can also search for it. Uh, it's one of my favorite tools. Uh, love to use the Dynamic Rename tool. We're going to be following along with the example that Alteryx provides. So I'm going to go ahead and grab the Dynamic Rename tool. And the uh, first thing that you're going to notice about this tool is it has an optional right input anchor. So if we go down to the Rename mode, we can see that there are some options to work with the uh, right input. Uh, but this time we're just going to take the field names from the first row of data. We're going to select all fields and hit the Run button. And we'll see that we have promoted the first row from being the first record in our data to actually being our field headers for each of our fields. So we've got customer ID, first name, last name, on and on. Let's grab another dynamic rename tool. This time we're going to rename our fields using a formula. So anything that um, has the word zip in it, we're also going to add the word code to the end. So <clears throat> we're going to write a formula. Um, and I'm just going to paste this over. If it, the current field name contains zip, then we're going to add underscore code to the end. Otherwise, we're going to leave it alone. So we're going to select all fields, hit the Run button, and we'll see that the only ones that are going to get changed are these two fields that were originally called zip4 and just zip, because they are the only ones that contained zip, so they got that underscore code added to the end. Let's grab another dynamic rename, and this time we'll connect it directly to our data. Actually, I'll probably want to delete that connection and then um, connect it to where our first row of data has um, come through here. So give me just a second here to do that. I'm going to delete the connection, drag down. There we go. That's better. So we can also add either a prefix or a suffix to each of the fields that we select. So we can just add this prefix suffix option and come down, grab a couple, and we're going to say visits and spend fields. We're going to add total underscore to the beginning of these as a prefix. So now we've got total visits and total spend as our field names. Really easy to turn this into a suffix. Also, we can check this dynamic box if we want to rename any new fields that come in. We can also remove any prefixes or suffixes that we may have added here. So uh, this time we're going to go ahead and uh, we are going to uh, attach another dynamic rename and we see that these first two fields have the word name attached to the end. So we're going to remove name as a suffix from both first name and last name. We could also click the dynamic button, or we could have said all fields, and anything that had name on the end we'd drop off. But we'll see now we've got first and last as our names rather than first name and last name. Let's look at our next example here. I'm going to grab the dynamic rename and hook up to our original data set here. And if two data sets have the same fields, the right input metadata can be used to name the data coming from the left input. So this time we're going to say we're going to take the field names from the right input metadata. So instead of having the field 1 through field 12 names, um, we're taking the uh, metadata from our right input, and it's just going to put them in order. So be careful about this column order, because sometimes a join tool will reorder your fields, and then the metadata won't be in the same order when you want to dynamically rename. So be very, very careful with this option. You can also take the field names from the right input rows and, and do something similar with a positional rename. So let's take a look here, and we see that we have just a text input that's got field one for a customer ID, on and on. And we're going to say, take the field names from the right input rows, use a positional rename, for the old name and then the new field is going to be field one. We're just going to put them in order. That's not the best way to do it though. The best way to really utilize this tool is to have a lookup table um, that has both your old values and your new values. And so again, we're going to take the field names from the right input rows. 
instead of using the positional rename, we're going to use our data that has a, kind of a key here where we have field one, field two. So our old field names are going to come from field two. Our new field names are going to come from field one. And that way it doesn't matter what order they're in, we're doing a match here, kind of like a join for our field names, if you will. So the dynamic rename tool is definitely one of my favorites. Um, it's one that I would recommend using as much as you can. Thanks. Thank you for learning with us today. Good luck on your Alteryx journey. For more information on custom training, managed service automations, and more, please visit our website at abdataconsulting.com.